Good morning. Welcome to our October virtual class. I am so glad to be here with you today to make four really great cards. So I'm going to just wait a minute or two before I get started. And I'm excited to stand with you again today. It is Thursday, October 14th. 2021 and if you do happen to be on here watching with me live be sure to say hi below in the comments I would love to see who is on here hello Kim um, I understand that this may not be a great time for anyone actually there's no time that works for everyone uh, due to so many different schedules but if you're able to join live, that's awesome. Otherwise, this will be recorded. It will be on my Facebook page and also over on my YouTube channel later this evening. So you can always catch the replay and or fast forward to any parts that you need to get to. So um, I'm so glad to see some of you hopping on with me this morning. So, all right. Um, how this works for my virtual classes, I've been doing these for about a year and a half now, and we are going to make four, uh, just four all occasion cards. And today I have two fall-ish cards and two Christmas themed cards because our mini catalog is just so amazing and I feel like we're going to be running out of time. And so I really wanted to use some products out of here for this virtual class. Now, if you would like to get these make and takes for free, then you need to place an online order with me by Sunday night and use this host code up there. It has to be at least $30 before shipping and tax. Um, and I will send you a set of make and takes. They will come like this in the mail, all your pieces and parts. Now you have to have your own stamp sets and ink. You can substitute with different stamp sets and different ink if you want as well. But uh, that is how you get the make and takes for free. Now, I always have a special gift for any order that goes over $50. You will also get the free make and takes, um, but you will get a free thank you gift from me. And this month, I always like kind of design my cards and then figure out what I can give, what will look good on multiple of the cards. And so this month, everyone is getting a package of... Uh, I can't get that little piece of cardstock there off. Uh, holiday rhinestones or gems or whatever these are called. Holiday rhinestones. So these are in different colors and we did use these on the cards today. So everyone will get that as a thank you for me as well. If your order goes over 100, if your order goes over 50. Now, I did see an order come through this morning that was over 150. So I always tell you, if your order goes 150 or over, you do not have to use a host code, but please still select me as your demonstrator. I will still send you all of the thank you gifts, but then you also get the host rewards. Um, so you get, starting at 150, you get uh, $15 in free product of your choice as well. So that's how that works for our virtual class. Um, I will have a type tutorial with pictures of all of these cards and directions. And I send that out um, to my entire email list, just kind of as a thank you for following me and being a part. So if you do order the make and takes, just know it's getting emailed out. And or if you can't find it, um, just let me know and I can send it to you. So I actually have to type that up today so it can go out in the email tomorrow morning. So if you're not on my email list, go to owlstarstampers.com and click on the email. That's where I send out all my information about all my classes and upcoming events and all of that fun stuff. Okay, good morning, good morning everyone. I Maybe I should have waited another minute before I jumped into all that, but um, I'll go over it again at the end if you wanna know how to get the free make and takes or all of that, So, um, or you can watch the, the beginning. Okay, we are going to get started. It looks like we have a good group on here. Um, uh, I just wanted to give out one shout out. The retreat, the fall retreat in a box is is almost gone and it is fantastic. You're gonna love it, love, love, love it. So if you wanna get one of the remaining boxes sent to you, it's a big box, like it's a 
flat rate box that is literally jam-packed with stuff and we have optional add-on classes that are reduced rate super awesome and after the fact I get like at least 12 emails of people wanting it but I have some left so get it and I'm promising you'll love it <laughs> um, Winnie said good morning are you all moved in for the most part I still have some stuff um, still have some stuff in my basement but all of the main things that I use all the time are here. So yes, I'm getting pretty settled in here. Okay, let's start crafting. Thanks for joining me. Um, also, if you missed last night's Facebook Live, I was giving away some of these. So be sure to go check out that video and over on YouTube. Uh, leave a comment and share because um, I have some of these dots to give away. A couple packages actually. Okay, so today our first card, we are using a set that was on back order for quite a while and it just came back in. Actually, not this one. The next one. This one, <laughs> I'm getting confused. I'm, I didn't know what I was going to start with. But I'm starting with a card using the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle. Oh, let me get the host code off. So this bundle right here, there's a set of dies. It's called the Intricate Leaves Dies. Actually, you want to see the inside. Let me open it up. They look like this, and um, it's just a really pretty set. Now, this set does not have any words on it, so what I'm using is a stamp set I used last night called the Banner Year, and I'm going to be using the sentiment that says, with a grateful heart. So this carried over from last year. You could use any words that you want, and let me show you where this is at in our book. And I love this stamp set, it, this bundle. It's just a really pretty one. I think you could do some masculine birthday cards with it as well with the leaves and different things. So it doesn't have to just be for fall. You can, and I'm sure a lot of you have other, something similar that you could use as well if you didn't want to get this one. But it is a good one. Okay, so on page 47, you will see the bundle there. It is $44 for the bundle or $21 for just the stamp set. And um, this is where you find that bundle anyway. So I die cut three of these maple leaves down here. And then I'm using this background um, stamp right here. So that's what I'm using on the cards. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the base of my card is crumb cake. I'm just using some crumb cake. And do you see I, um, and again, we will die cut these leaves for you. I say we because I might have some helpers. I might have to bribe them because these are very <laughs> intricate, but um, they're really pretty. Okay, so go ahead and fold. We're going to go ahead and fold this. Again, all the dimensions will be in the PDF. So anyone can get that. I used to only send it to the people that ordered. But um, I, you know what, I want to share with everyone. And you can listen to the video and get all the dimensions too. So then you're just going to want to poke out these little remaining pieces. So when we die cut these, it would take us forever to poke all these out for you. So you will just have to um, take your take your pick tool or the end of your sharp snips and poke out those little pieces. So this is Bumblebee, one of our in colors. Then I have Cherry Cobbler. And the last one I used is, um, I think, Old Olive. And I picked these colors because I actually had, do you ever cut a lot, well, as a demonstrator, I cut a lot of cardstock. And sometimes I have like a lot of one scrap that's like a, a decent size. And Cherry Cobbler and Old Olive was one of the ones that I had a stack of this in about a two inch width. And so I thought, you know what? Those will make great leaves for a card. So that's kind of how I picked two of my colors. Okay, so there's this one. Come on, this little tool. Thank you for sharing, Kathleen. I appreciate it. And Charlotte. Okay, and our last leaf is the old olive. Now, another way you can kind of get these pieces out is if you carefully kind of bend the paper, they kind of just pop out that way too. So that's kind of what I was doing earlier. 
and just kind of bending them over my finger and then all those little pieces pop out. So this morning, speaking of moving in, um, somebody had asked that earlier, I believe maybe it was Winnie. Um, I need to get a coffee pot here because I did not have, I'm not like a huge coffee drinker, but I definitely uh, like it, especially now that fall and winter is on its way. And that's the one thing I haven't purchased for here because I'm here every day during the week is a coffee maker. And so I definitely need to get on that. Okay, so we'll just move all those little pieces over here. All right, so uh, I have a piece of, another piece of crumb cake in basic white. And I know I did a weird measurement on this because I was trying to fit it in. So the white is five inches, the white isn't weird. Five by three. And then this is five and one eighth by three and one eighth. So I don't typically use the eighths, but I I did um, on this card. Okay, let's do our stamping first. So we are going to use this image right here, kind of like this background image, and we are going to use the colors of the leaves for the ink. So I need cherry cobbler. And then I need, um, I have ink pads on two different places. Bumblebee and Old Olive. So these, aren't these pretty? They're just really pretty colors. And I'm going to start with the Bumblebee, the lightest color. And I have over here my chamois that I'm going to use to clean them off in between each card. So I'm just going to open that up so it's ready to go. And I just need a block. So I got a block right here. So I am going to start with this. I think I might, oh, I was going to stamp off. Where did I do with my paper? I'm going to grab this paper that I threw away last night. Okay, I'm literally ripping it off. So I can stamp off on this paper. So I'm going to ink this up once, stamp it off once, and then I'm going to go just, I'm going to try just to do the center. So our leaves are actually going to go off a little bit. So it kind of has just a really slight, slight subtle background there. Then I'm going to clean it off here, over here, and then I'm done with the bumblebee. So next we're going to go into the old olive. I'm going to do the same thing. So I cleaned off my stamp. Don't want to cross colors. Ink it up. I'm going to stamp it off once. Now my original card, I didn't stamp it off. So you can, I'll show you, we'll see, we'll compare the two. So there's that one in the green, the old olive. Then we're going to do the cherry cobbler. I, I am going to use another color as well. I forgot. So here's our cherry cobbler. It's a deep red. I'm going to stamp that off and then come in here like so. And there we have, there we have our three colors in the background. All right. We're not done with this one yet. I almost thought we were, but just kidding. So next up, we are gonna take, I have um, Sahara Sand. So this is a hair lighter than the crumb cake base that we have here. So this is our card base. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink this up on the background of with the Sahara Sand. So it's just a little bit lighter color. And I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to kind of go all, I'm going to do like two. So um, just kind of like adding a little bit to the background. So that's the background on my card. You can leave it plain. That's totally fine too. Okay, so there's that. And then the last color we need for our sentiment is early espresso. So let's do that next. I'm going to move that over. 
And so again, this card or this stamp set is really pretty. Let me, um, I'm gonna show you a card I made also with this. So I'm gonna grit out my sentiment with a grateful heart and that one right there. And then there should be a little strip in your kit. So again, this is how your kit would come with all these pieces so you can just do your stamping and assembling. So you'll have a little strip there and then your sentiment and good morning everyone and ink this up just like so. I feel like I got too close to the top. I did. Oh my goodness. My I just got a phone call this morning that my glasses came in. I cannot wait to go pick those up. So I can see better up close with these things. Okay, with a grateful heart. So there we go. So there's that. Just one second. Let me go grab that other card I made with this set to show you. I really want to show you. Okay, the card was like clear in the front of the studio. And um, this card, I used that background stamp, but then I stamped the leaf over top of it. <clears throat> so if you're not into die cutting, you can just stamp that leaf right directly over it. And this is using that Beauty of the Earth paper that we used yesterday as well. So I wanted to show you that. And then I did use those metallic dots and that metallic ribbon right there. So anyway, I wanted to show you that before I forgot. Okay, back to this card. All right, we are going, I just realized I saw, I see, I got ink down here. So it looks like that's where our sentiment is gonna go now. Do you see that little bit of, see I got ink on my thumb there and I managed to get it right there. So now that's where our sentiment is going. All right, so let's move this out of the way and put, so I am gonna be using some liquid glue tonight. And, or tonight, it's morning. I normally go live in the evening. It's definitely morning here. So let's attach these layers together. Okay, so make sure this ink is off of me. Okay, this is just has a tiny little border. So we are going to put this over here. Just like that. Okay, just a little border. And then we're gonna pop this up with some of our dimensionals. Okay, and then we are going to layer this on our card just like so, like that. Okay, oh, I wasn't supposed to do this. Goodness gracious, I'm making, uh, now I know why I don't go live in the morning. I can't think clearly. Okay, you weren't supposed to do this. So if you're watching the replay, just don't attach it down to the card yet. Whatever, I'm gonna make it work. So take some of your glue or, because I'm gonna die cut these for you, um, or one of my my friends are and uh, you could make them stickers too with the adhesive sheets but we're just gonna run them through the cardstock so you'll want to just use your liquid glue and we're gonna put the yellow over top of the yellow just like that and just lightly press it down hello everyone hi Nancy then we're gonna take the old olive and that one's gonna go here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna snip the end off. We don't need it that long. And then I need to snip the edge off too. So I'm gonna hold that, I'm gonna, what I do is this goes here. So I'm gonna actually hold the end that needs to get snipped off and just add glue to the other part. So just add a little bit of your glue and Uh, add some glue to the back here 
and you can tell I'm not being a professional here. I just add in a little bit like that. And then I'm going to flip it over and stick it down. I'm going to hold it for a second. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the red. I'm going to trim the bottom off a little bit because it's a little long. And I'm going to hold it with this side because this end is going off the edge. So I hope you guys have a great day today. I have some virtual phone call parent teacher conferences as soon as I get off here. So I actually do need to pay attention to the time. Okay, so there's that. So this is what this card looks like. Okay, the leaves are over. So this is why I wouldn't attach it because then what I did is I actually, I flipped it over and I just trimmed them off. Just like that. Just keep it kind of flat and then just trim that off like that. So there we have it. Now, maybe I'll add one more to the center so it's good. Okay, and put this back here. Then take your little sentiment, make a little banner like that. And this one is gonna come over here to hide my little mistake. Um, got a little piece of my dimensional and we'll add this right here. Okay, to finish off the card, we're gonna bring in our holiday gems. So again, you get a free package with every $50 order before tax and shipping. And I'm gonna take, so I know the screen is a little bit brighter, but it actually looks, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take one of the bigger ones and I'm going to put it up here. I'm gonna take one of the smaller ones and kind of put it down here. And then I'm gonna go into the gold, the yellowish color. And I'm gonna take a bigger one down here smaller one up here and then the red we can have a red one down here and a red one up there and there is our card okay so this is the version where I stamped the background off once here it is with it stamped not stamped off so it's a little bit so you can see these leaves are a little, they stand out a little bit more and these kind of blend in a little bit more. And on this one I have the sentiment to the right and this one I have it to the left. So there is a card. Let me know what you think of that one. Okay, and it's the gorgeous leaves bundle that I use and then the banner year stamp set. But again, you could use any sentiment that you have. Okay, next up is um, a card that was the bundle that's been on back order for a while. So let me show you where that one is real quick before we get started. It is called the Nature's Harvest Bundle. So it kind of has this suite of products on page 56. We are going to use the bundle up here. And um, it is on page... It's $53 for the bundle, $21 for the stamp set. So this is what we are using. And there's some beautiful samples in here today. And here is my little card pieces right here. Again, I'm using Crumb Cake again. I think it's just a great neutral color. Um, go ahead and fold this card base. And then I went ahead and I cut one of my favorite packs um, of designer series paper, the In Good Taste. This is in our annual catalog. You get a really big pack. And this is just a two inch by five and a quarter. This is gonna get layered here. Now something I did differently is I took a piece of very vanilla. It is three inches by five and a quarter. And I used a new set of dies that I have had for a while and I haven't used them yet. So here's our, here's our bundle for today. 
for this card. And I'm using this label and this die to cut out these flowers. So just so you know, that's what I'm using out of there. And then I went to the basic border dies and you get six different borders in here. And I just haven't had a chance to use these yet. And so I'm using this rounded one right here. So I will, I, we will die cut this edge for you right here. And we will die cut the label, but you will have to cut out your own flowers. <laughs> so any basic shape we do. Okay, now you can see on this one, I think it shifted a little bit in when I die cut it, but it does have the little stitching on the edge. So that's okay though, it's, it's still gonna work. I'm gonna make it work, but it's going to kind of go on something like this. But before we're gonna do a little bit of background stamping as well. And so I need my stamp set. So this one also has this like kind of, you could use it to go over, to color over like kind of a watercolor look, or I'm using it as a background um, stamp as well. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to be using my scrap paper here. And I'm using that Sahara Sahara sand. And I'm going to ink this off like two or three times um, just to make this a little bit subtle in the background. It's going to look pretty cool. So let me, let's do that. So Sahara sand ink. Um, I'm going to stamp it off once, twice, and then I'm just going to go in here and stamp it a few times, once, twice, and I'm going to turn my stamp now the other direction and stamp, stamp, go off, stamp, stamp, stamp. I don't know why I'm saying that every time, but I am. <laughs> and just add a little bit here. It almost gives it kind of like maybe a marbled-ish type of look to the, to the background there, but that's what we did with that one. Okay, close that up. And then you will have a scrap of um, Very Vanilla in your kit as well. And that's where you're going to stamp your um, flowers on. And I did that in Memento ink because I'm going to use my blend. So um, you'll have a piece like the size of that to go ahead and stamp that in your Memento ink. And then you're going to die cut it. Now for the sake of the video, I went ahead and did that already right there. So that's what it looks like. And we're going to color that. And then you will have a label like this in your kit, again, from those dies. And we are going to stamp this. It says, Sending Healing Thoughts. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. So we can stamp that. Again, you could stamp any sentiment that you want, really. All right. So let's um, start coloring and put this card together. So we are... Oh, I just got... I guess I forgot to color... Or, get that off. So for this one, I am using, um, what do I have here? Light Cajun Craze. So I'm going in with the light Cajun Craze at the tops of these flowers first, just towards um, the top there. And then I'm going to go in with the Dark Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to um, blend this in like that, like so and just pull that color down. So this is like a pretty quick coloring thing that we're doing here. So nothing, like these are, it's really shaded for you, so that makes it nice. Do the same thing, go in with the light Cajun around here, and even around this one, and then take that Daffodil Delight and just kind of blend it out and into that. So just a really pretty stamp set. I can see why it has been on back order or unorderable for so long. It's a really pretty one. Okay, so there's that. And because of that, I haven't used it. I've been waiting, 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 waiting to use it. Okay, so there's those. Now we're gonna go in with our 
Um, I have dark crumb cake and I'm gonna just do the top of the, it's like some flowers. And then the bottom right here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is take a green. You can take whichever green you want. I have light mossy meadow and I'm just gonna go down the stem, the stem of these flowers and the leaves. That's it. So you can see this really isn't too, too much coloring if you're not into coloring. And you could also use watercolor pencils too. I think that would look pretty on this card with maybe a blender pen, not the stamp and blends with the blender pen. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a cone flower. Thank you. Looks like sunflowers to me. I think I actually have these in my, these grow in the backside of my house. So I should have known that. They're pretty. I like all flowers. Although most of the flowers, I just, they don't survive if they need. I either overwater them or they don't get enough water and I'm terrible. I try, I try though. Okay, so here is our flowers here. They're so pretty. Okay, let's put this together. So again, you will just take your strip of paper here, your two inch strip, and we're going to add this here. So make sure you just leave a little like quarter inch border like that. Then you're gonna take this piece, whether it's perfectly straight or not, it's, it's okay. And we're going to attach that there. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the top and the bottom, and then I'm also trying to leave the same distance from each side like that. So that's what I'm doing. It looks like that. Do you see that background there? All right, next up we have, oh, you'll have a piece of this ribbon too. This is from our annual catalog. It has a little hint of gold in it, so I'll give you a strip of that. So we're going to take the flower and our dimensionals and we're gonna add these on. And then um, you can use the mini ones or cut the edges here. And I'm going to add one down here and one over here. All right, take this off. And then we're gonna put the flower. I'm looking to see my sample. I have it. So this flower is going off just a little bit like that. And then the ribbon is gonna go across there. I'm looking for glue dots. Thanks everyone that's joining me this morning. I'm gonna add just like, I press the ribbon right on the dot and then when I lift it, it it's supposed to stick. It did, it worked that time. Sometimes you might have to do it twice, especially if these are really cold. So you can add two or three uh, to your ribbon. And then I'm just going to set this across the bottom like that. And then you can just take your snips and trim it down. It will probably fray at the end and I'm okay with that, but I did cut it a little bit too long. Then grab your sentiment here and this works really good with this edge of your sheet. And I'm going to add that there. You can add more. I'm just gonna move along. And then I'm going to set this right above that ribbon so the ribbon is peeking out below. So it's gonna look kinda like that. And you can wiggle your stuff around. But there is that. And then, remember we have our holiday gems. So I'm gonna come in with these yellowish ones. I'm gonna put one here and one here and another one over here. So, 
there is our fall card. Another one. Um, it's actually a Sending Healing Thoughts card. But there is the original. And here's the one we just made. So there is that card. Let me know what you think of that using the Nature's Harvest. And uh, this is the bundle we used. Okay. Moving on, just a second to our third and fourth card are more for Christmas season. So let's move to that one. So we are going to be using the Christmas season stamp set. And I'm also bringing in the Evergreen Elegance. So this is in our annual catalog. This is in that mini um, this one I'm using the sentiments here. So that's why I have this one. Because you can see again, this one doesn't have any sentiments. But um, this, let me show you where this is at. Because it is a, this one has a coordinating punch in our annual catalog. This one has, ooh, the glare from the light. Has some, some dyes. And it actually has another set that does have words that I just didn't grab. I just used the other one. I saw the other one first. So that's what I mean when you can use like so many different things. So here's the stamps that I'm using. It's $22 and it comes with the, um, the set of dies down here, like a bunch of different labels for $54. I have been using these labels on all different types of cards, not just Christmas. And then over here on the next page, on page 19, there's this huge um, set of sentiments that you can kind of coordinate with it. And then it comes with another set of like pine cone dies for $60.25. So this is kind of the page that I'm working from. I'm using this stamp set, but then again, you could, I'm using the Evergreen Elegance from our annual catalog to use those words down there. Okay, so we are using um, Real Red this time. And some, I have a strip of the brushed, um, the brushed, what is it called? Brushed something or other. Uh, I thought it was on this page. It has like different shades of silver metallic in it right here. Silver foil specialty pack. One sheet of brushed finish matte and mirrored. So this foiled paper down here, this lightest shade, that's where I'm have this piece right here so you will get like a quarter of an inch piece it's just really pretty so anyway I wanted to show you where I found that it's on page 23 and it's ten dollars for three of those sheets 12 by 12 okay let's go ahead and fold this and then we're gonna do some stamping so this is the outside this is the inside and we are going to be stamping on both of these and I have a couple of different um, colors of ink. We're going to be using some Old Olive, some Evening Evergreen, and a Soft Succulent. And then we're also using Real Red. So we got a couple of different, there's our colors that we're using. And we're going to start off with the greens. So let's, I have Old Olive. Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. And then we're going to start out with um, this little, this, we're gonna use this image, this image, this image, and these ones right here. So we will need the berries and these little dots. Then I need, this is a photopolymer set. And I need one more. It's like stuck in here, uh, this one right here. So here we go. I'm gonna take this one in the old olive and I'm going to, this is gonna be our outside piece over here. Ooh, we're crooked. And I'm going to stamp this kind of just going up like that. And then I'm gonna stamp another one going like this way, and then I'll have one coming up from the bottom. And then on 
I don't have this one on the inside. So we're done with this one. Shoot, where did my stamp cleaner go? Right here. So I have a lot of uh, cleaning to do. Okay, so there we have that. Next up, we are going to take this little pine in the evening evergreen. And we are going to stamp it kind of coming in this way. And then this way. Like that. And then on the inside piece we will do it coming oh I need scrap paper to cover this coming off like that for the inside okay then we're done with that one next we're going to take our other little pine things and I'm using the soft succulent and I'm only inking up there's two sides of it I'm only inking up the one side and I'm just going to put a few little sprigs of this in here like that. And then on the inside, I'm going to put one over here. And then I'm going to put one coming in down here like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take these little red berry things with the real red and I'm going to add little berries in there like that. And then on our outside piece, I'm going to add a couple right here and maybe a couple up here. Okay, so do you see how I have red on my block there? You might want to wipe that off so it doesn't get actually accidentally touch your white and mess up your card. You might have had that happen a time or two. I'm going to just add some of those there. And then I'm just going to add one more at the very bottom down here. Down here we'll just add a few more like that. Okay, we're done with the berry. And then the last thing we're gonna do is take these little dot things. We're just gonna add a little bit of this. We'll add a few up here. We'll add a couple, one through there, and some down there. So it looks like that. And then on the inside, we're going to add that and there like that okay so that was a lot of stamping but it wasn't hard and then I still need my real red so I'm just gonna close up the three green piece the gr three green ink pads and this is just um, you could use a stamparatus for this card um, if you did a lot of so I'm taking all my little stamps here and I'm gonna put them back so don't lose them and then we're gonna go in with our words so I'm gonna use um, you could use if it's friends like you that make the season so wonderful or me the beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the year I might use the friend one if I I don't know why this is in here because it's sticking. Um, so I'm going to throw that away. We're going to use these two right here. And I'm going to ink this up in red. I'm going to use the red. And put that right there. And then on the inside, I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas. So just like that little star um, came off. And I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas across here like that. And now we can put our card together. This is where I keep getting red on my finger. Do you see it's on the edge of that? I need to take a baby wipe and clean that off. All right, so pull in your pieces. This goes on the inside. 
So I've been trying to decorate more of the inside of my cards. So this is going in here just like so. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? And then on the outside of your card, we are going to take a little bit of glue. I'm just going to hold it with my finger and go down. I didn't, I just had this strip left over. So go down a little bit. And then I'm just going to add this right to the edge of this card. Just, just give it a little sparkle to the card. So when you don't want to add a lot of something, it just adds a little touch. I will cut this the size you need in your kit. I'm just going to trim off that extra. And then this is actually popped up with dimensionals. And I'm going to pop this up like so. Now for this one, since it has greens and reds, you could use any of those uh, rhinestones if you wanted. But I'm going to stick with the reds. So I'm going to add one of the bigger red ones kind of up, up here. And then I'm going to add two of the smaller red dots. Like kind of wherever you want. But yeah, you could add the green, some of the green, or even the blue, whatever you want. So there is our card. It's friends like you that make the season so wonderful. And you see that silver strip there? And then Merry Christmas. And then here's the other one I did. So this one I changed the sentiment up. So you can see I use the different greeting here. So you could use any greeting you want down here. And that is our third card. Let me know what you think of that one. Okay, this was inspired from, by my friend Hattie, by the way, too. Okay, our last card. You know I got to do a cutesy one because that's what I really love. I love cute cards. And uh, we did this card for my um, my team meeting this last week. So my team, meet, my team, we always do make and takes. And we ship those out and we do them in person. And it's a lot of fun. And we use this stamp set, Be Jolly. It's $21. And just a little heads up, I have a video that we'll be posting tomorrow making the three other cards I did for my team meeting. So you can watch, be looking for that video on YouTube tomorrow. It's only a YouTube video. And this stamp set, you can find it on page, do, 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 where are you, Mr. Santa? Right here, page 29 at the top, and it's $21. So here's Santa and a tree and a sleigh and a little bird and some sentiments and also a to and from. So just a cute little set. And let's go ahead and make this card. I'm looking at my time. I got to go a little bit quick because I got conferences coming up. I got to remember, like normally I don't have something right after I get done. So this is just real red card base. Simple, sweet and simple. Next we have a layer of real red that's five and a quarter by four. And we're, you're gonna cut out a circle about a two and a half inch circle or two and a quarter. And then it is embossed in the brick. Now you'll have to do your own embossing so you can emboss it if you want. We um, can cut out the circle for you. And then you have a piece of white, a white square and we're gonna stamp our Santa on that. He's gonna be peeking through that window. Um, so we have that and we need memento black and we're going to stamp up this little Santa guy. So I'm actually using this to make the cutest tag for one of the pillow gifts for the retreat. Again, grab one, grab one, grab one. We have a lot of surprises in store for you like always. Lots of cute presents that we personalize. So there's our Santa. And then we are going to color him in really quickly. But I like it because um, he doesn't need a ton to get done. So we are going to, I'm just going to lightly close that. Do his hat in red. I'm using just a real red. And then I can't use that brushed end. I need, oh no, I grabbed 
cherry cobbler. Oops, I need real red. I thought that was a little dark. I want to make it work. Okay, make sure you grab the right red. And it'll just be a little highlighted over here. Okay, and then I'm going to do his arm right here. And then the one over here. So this is just kind of like a little window card. So you can do this with any kind of um, card with whatever you want kind of popping out. And then I don't think we'll see below his belt really, but I will color in his legs. I'm not going to do the boots though. Okay, so here we have this. Okay, and then I need the ivory for his face. I am enjoying my new shop. I'm gonna do his ears and the mouth and his face. Um, you can use any skin tone you want. I say that every time. Any one that you would like. And then I am gonna grab the black. Although the cap doesn't look black, this is what the basic black is, and do the little mittens. And then you know what we need? I think we need some Wink Stella for his hat. So we have this. Tomorrow I have a craft day here at my studio again. It is full. We have, I think, not, 10, 10 of us that are going to be here crafting the day away. It will be so much fun. Can't wait for that. And I have another one um, the day before my in-person retreat. So if anyone wants to come to that, or if you want to come to the retreat and that, be sure to do that. Sign up for that. Okay, so then you're going to take your little square, and we're going to put him right behind the circle. Like he's peeking through. So I'm just actually going to add my adhesive around the circle. Like so. So just add it all around like that, and then I can position this where I want my Santa, and then just kind of lightly pick it up, and then I'm going to add my dimensionals to the back. And what you can do too is you can even put a dimensional there so it's, you know, stuck down. So we have that, and then peel those off. Then this is going on right here like so. Now on your strip of paper you're gonna stamp a Merry Hello and I'm gonna just do it, you could do it in red since I have black I'm just gonna do the black, the memento. So just stamp that and then we will, again, I'm going to just make a little banner with just cut at an angle. Just like that. And we will cut this down. And then we are going to put this on here like so. And then to finish it off, we are going to... Take Wink of Stella and add it to his little hat, top of his hat. And then those rhinestones, we will add a few of the red ones. If you want, you could add all colorful ones. That would be cute as well. And just add a couple of rhinestones and there is our cute Santa card. So there's that. So that's our fourth card for today. So again, let me um, bring in all the cards. If you just hopped on, you can go back and watch the beginning and see how we did all of them. And I will show you and tell you how you can get these make and takes for free. So we ended with some Christmas, these, and then we have this one with that silver and then on the inside, the Merry Christmas. And then we have this really pretty card here. And so we have those. And then we did the leaves. We started with the leaves here. 
So those are our four cards today. Again, if you would like the make and take packet, make sure you place an online order with me using this host code that's at least $30. All your pieces will come in envelopes like I showed at the beginning. You just need your own stamps and ink. And you can substitute if you don't have these or you're not going to purchase them. If you bump your order up to at least $50, you are going to get a full package of these rhinestones as a thank you from me. So I always send those out. You have until Sunday night to get your orders in. And then know that on, on Monday morning, I will close out the host code and then I will order all the paper and supplies. So then, then I have to wait to get them a few days. And then I cut and ship them out. So you won't get these shipped in like the next like next week because I have to, the ordering special ends on Sunday night. And then I have to order all my paper and all of your, your thank you gifts as well. So just know that um, it takes about a week and a half-ish um, to get this all together and out to you. Um, if your order goes over 150, then don't use a host code. Just shop with me and you'll still get all the goodies as well. So um, the, the PDF for everyone will be emailed um, tomorrow morning. So I will have a tutorial with all four cards, all the supplies and directions. So make sure you save that if you are ordering. Um, don't delete that email and or reach out to me if you do. And you can always refer back to this video as well. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for um, crafting with me this morning. And I can't wait to see you next time. Um, also, tomorrow, I wanted to show you that Santa. Um, so I made this today. But my team meeting, we made... Um, three other really cute cards with that stamp set. And so again, I have a video that we'll be publishing tomorrow as well. So check that out. And yes, the beautiful retreat, all the fun things with the cabin. It's gorgeous. Grab, grab you one of those last ones. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. And check out the organizational video too. I, I forgot. I mentioned that yesterday on how I do my dyes. I love all your feedback too and different ways you tweak and change it. So thank you for um, uh, all of that as well. See you, see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.